Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to build a minimalist project management board in Notion in under five minutes. I'm David, maker of Manifest, a minimalist productivity system built on Notion. And if you're curious about Manifest and want to download the free template, the link is in the description below. There are a lot of things you can do in Notion, especially when it comes to managing projects and tasks. There's also a lot of great resources to check out from Marie Poulin's video project and task planning with Notion. And if you're trying to build something with more detail, definitely check out August Bradley's video on project databases. This is not one of those videos. Uh, if you're new to Notion, it could be a little overwhelming. So this walkthrough highlights three key things that for me are the most valuable uh, getting up and running with Notion. Number one, how databases work two custom views of databases and three how to relate one database to another these three things are in my opinion the most powerful aspects of notion as they allow you to relate specific pieces of information across different pages and views so let's jump in for this example we're using the manifest project manager you can also download this for free using the link in the description but let's take a look at what's happening on the page I always like to open pages with the remember toggle, uh, which is here, which has some personal reminders on goals for using the workspace, could also house a motivational statement, affirmations, anything that can help you get into a particular mindset. Also, if you do end up using the template, there are three quick things in the how to use the template dropdown, which give you a little bit more context for the three sections of the template, uh, specifically projects, tasks, and databases, which we'll get into in this video. So the first section we have is projects and if we open this up we'll see what's called a gallery view and if we click on this there's currently two views in this template one is the gallery and the second is just a standard table view with um, all of the properties associated with each of these projects uh, but if we go to add view you'll see that there's six different uh, views that you can create for every database that you're using. Um, the two that we have in the example, but also a Kanban board, which we'll look at in the tasks database. Um, also a timeline, which could be useful if you're trying to see all active projects and when their due dates are in relation to one another. Uh, kind of a typical calendar view and more of a minimal list view. The next thing to quickly point out is that this uh, icon here means that this is a linked database. So we're taking a view of the database, but this is not the original. The original databases in this example are in the databases section here. So this I find useful to kind of keep the most important databases separated and visible um, all in the same place so that uh, they don't get lost or accidentally edited or deleted. You'll also notice there are a few properties that are visible for each project. In this example, we have the project name, due date, priority and status and you can uh, edit these at any time for example if we wanted to turn off the status we can go into properties for this table and quickly toggle on and off any of these properties remember they're, they're still there just hidden in this particular view if we click into one of these projects let's open this full screen we can see all of the properties associated with this project you can also add additional properties here. Um, for example, if you want to add the date that it was last edited or opened, in addition to if you want to assign it to a particular person, um, there's a lot of different ways you can add uh, more layers of information to each of these projects. But we just have the basics in here for now. Also, uh, we'll see that there is a relation already in here to the tasks database and um, specifically tasks that are associated with this project. So if we go back into the home page, into the second section with tasks, there are four toggle views here. Inbox, which is ideally for quickly adding new tasks to sort and maybe add additional properties later on. There is the up next um, tasks that are next in the pipeline, um, make sure to keep the number of up next tasks as small as possible. Kind of learned this the hard way where give highest priority to a lot of tasks and then you kind of lose the benefits of 
giving it that des designation. So you want to keep it to maybe two or three tasks that are up next for each project at most. Next, uh, we have active. So these are any tasks that you're currently working on. And lastly, we have the overdue section, which is filtered to only show tasks that were due on or before today and are not uh, considered done. So any open-ended tasks that are overdue, uh, you'll find in this space. So what properties are associated to tasks? If we open one of these up, for example, let's go into uh, book summary. So what properties are assigned to tasks? In this example and in the template that's linked below, we have uh, six different properties. First, we have the due date. So let's go ahead and add the due date for today. The project that this task is associated with. We also have the time to complete the task. Uh, this is using tomato emojis. Uh, if you're familiar with the Pomodoro technique, which is working on a task for 25 minutes and then taking a five minute break. So each of these is equal to about 30 minutes. And um, in this example, ranging from one to four, so that would be two hours. Uh, next, we have a priority uh, property, which is basically just set to low, medium, or high. So if you do want to filter tasks um, to only show, for example, highest priority, um, you can do that as well. The status, which we've seen, uh, going from inbox, up next, active, on hold, and done. And this uh, very simple formula, just when you complete a task, uh, this gets checked as well. So even though this is helpful to get a snapshot of where you are um, or where you left off, moving tasks along in the project view um, automatically updates their status. So if you're working on a project, the first thing is opening up that project page um, so that you can see where you are with the tasks and move them along as they're getting completed, which automatically updates their status. So for example, if we complete this find five existing courses and we go back to the active um, section, we'll see that that's no longer there. So that's a quick overview of the project management dashboard. If you're new to Notion, I'd recommend trying to set up each section in your own workspace. Otherwise, you can access the template in the description below. Lastly, if you have any questions in this example, definitely add them in the comments. And if you found this helpful, please subscribe. That's super helpful. Also, you can learn more about the manifest system by checking out the walkthrough video and live session videos that are linked above. See you in the next video. Cheers.